For more than a century, the chief who defended this territory has been unjustly labeled a traitor. On Thursday, Canada's Prime Minister placed tobacco and delivered the words the Poundmaker Cree Nation has longed to hear. To confirm without reservation that Chief Poundmaker is fully exonerated of any crime or wrongdoing. People here see Poundmaker as a peacemaker, a visionary chief who showed restraint during the 1885 Northwest Resistance, also known as the Northwest Rebellion. He ordered warriors not to attack retreating federal forces, saving many lives. He spent one year in prison and died shortly after his release. I would also like to offer all members of the Poundmaker Cree Nation, past and present, an apology. It's a surreal day for Milton Tatusis, who grew up reading history written by colonial scholars. But his elders told him that was not the First Nations version of events. Our people went through a lot of trauma, a lot of fear and mistrust of the, the government and, and typically most settlers and outsiders. The federal government has not committed to financial compensation with this apology or exonerations for other unjustly convicted chiefs. This goes a long way to fight the racism that still exists in our country, in all of our institutions. And this is about, about people having a look at the role that government policies play. As for the Prime Minister, he acknowledges the exoneration and apology cannot make up for what has been lost. But he says he is hopeful that they can lead people further down the path of reconciliation. Ryan Kessler, Global News.